Hi, uh, I'm Mr Hathaway, Head of History here at Denmark Road. We've got a, a really rich and varied Year 7 curriculum, going through Year 8 and Year 9 as well. I think our vision for what we want to teach is based as a core on, on our island story from Britain 1066 to the present day. But I think history is about so much more than that. Uh, we recognise the diverse and varied backgrounds of our students. Um, one of my favourite topics to study in Year 8, um, students do a family history project, which isn't about trying to trace your ancestor back to William the Conqueror. It's more about what did, what did grandma do in the 1970s? What, what was it like when my parents were growing up in a different country? And that's always very, very rewarding. Um, we of course study the impact of slavery on Britain. Um, we study both world wars and of course the horrors of the Holocaust. Overall, when we get our year seven students to study, what we want them to do is to, is to interact, to interact with us as teachers, to interact with each other and to interact with the material so that hopefully when they reach the end of the key stage, not only do they have a chronological framework of history, but they have a, an understanding of what makes people tick, what makes history work, and how society has developed over the last thousand years. Today our Year 9s are looking into aspects of the Industrial Revolution, uh, particularly they're looking at child labour, uh, child factory labour. So students have looked at pictorial sources, they've looked at written evidence, and then what they're doing is trying to, to present those, to present, present those events through the eyes of somebody who witnessed them at the time. So, We've asked students to consider the nature of historical evidence, whether sources are produced to persuade people that factories were really rather nice places, or to criticise them and bring about change. And I hope that's what the students will be able to bring out in their role plays and um, presentations. I think one way we make history engaging is to, to, to try and get, I think, death disease or toilets into every lesson. If you can do that, you're pretty much halfway there. Um, and again, it's back to interaction. History is not a dry subject. It's not a dusty book-bound subject. It's, it's a subject about people. And I think one thing we're very proud of doing this year is after our students had spent several months at home studying hard in their bedrooms, we spent the first two weeks of our Year 7, 8 and 9 curriculum asking students to share their, their COVID experiences, their lockdown experiences, so that they could firstly have a record, uh, whether a written record or a visual record of what they'd done, and also we use that then to discuss the nature of history, the nature of historical evidence, and how the, those stories, the sum of those stories of individuals, is actually just as important as the stories of the, of the rich and famous.